it's Jennifer from Craft Forest. Today I want to show you how to make your own home fragrance two ways out of things that you might already have in the kitchen. We need just three ingredients. Let me show you what we've got. We've got baking soda, we have essential oils, and we also have baby oil. So we're going to use baking soda for one and the oil for a second. So let's start with the baking soda. So I really like to have a great fragrance in my car, but nothing strong. The ones that you can get at the store sometimes are a little too much to be driving around with. So I like a really clean, fresh scent in the car. Sometimes it gets a little hot, transporting the kids back and forth from camp, and you just want something a little fresh. So that's where this one comes in. So all you need is a jar, some sort of container, and baking soda, and essential oil, and then we're gonna just put a lid on it. So let me show you how to do this. So really, really simple, few steps. We just pour a little baking soda right inside. And you can put as little or as much as you want. I really like these small jars because they fit perfectly in the cup holders in the car. And then I'm gonna just do a few drops of the essential oil. On this, you can really do as many as you want. I like about five to six. I don't want it to be too strong but you can really do as many as 12. So I'm gonna put just a few drops in there and really all you have to do is just kind of mix it around there. You could use a spoon to mix it, but we're just gonna stir it through. And then to cover this, on this one over here, we actually just used a piece of newsprint, poked a few holes in it, and then just adhered it and tied it with a string. So simple, so effective. I saw something really similar at the farmer's market once and they were calling them the farmer's wife's uh, aromatherapy jars. I thought that was super cute. These are a little easier to make and you don't have to buy it. So you could do that. We're gonna use a piece of scrap fabric on this one and just a little, uh, little scrap piece of ribbon that I have from a jelly roll. So I'm going to really just cut a little scrap here. I'm gonna cut myself a jaw off here. Go. And you don't have to be precise about this and really I'm just gonna put it on the top and then we'll cut a little piece of our ribbon. And just adhere that, pull that around, and tie it. And it's so, so simple. And then we could grab a pin and just poke some holes in that. So, I mean, that's really, that's it. It literally took us 60 seconds to make our own air freshener. It smells amazing. I wish that we had smell-o-vision so you could see just how clean and fresh this smells. I take it and stick it right in my cup holder. These are great too to put in the bathroom. You can put them in the kids' rooms. Really, really helpful in the laundry room or anywhere maybe the sports equipment is. Super helpful, really inexpensive way to make your own air freshener. So let's put this one aside and let me show you how to make a second one. So we've all seen all of those Reed air fresheners that are everywhere at the stores right now. They're a little pricey, but so, so pretty, and they smell amazing. You can really easily make your own with what you've got at home. So again, we're just going to use a jar, and I'm going to use this one from uh, the Starbucks drinks that we all have. Um, I love the mouth on this, but you could even get one that's a little more narrow. Maybe use a little vase or something that you have at home, or... Um, Sometimes you can get those uh, juice jars that kind of taper in at the top. Those would work great too. So the reeds, I'm just using some dowel sticks that I got at the craft store. You could also use bamboo skewers that you would get at the grocery store. You could use chopsticks, you could use popsicle sticks. Really, the choices are endless on these. So we need the sticks, we need the jar, and we need some sort of carrier oil. We're gonna add our essential oil and we need some way to balance it. So I use baby oil, and you really want to use that if you have a really um, more of a, a stronger smelling uh, essential oil because you can smell the baby oil. So you consider that. You might also use uh, vegetable oil or something with a little lighter smell. So we're going to go about a third baby oil to a third of the essential oil. If we can open it, it's childproof, so I couldn't get it open. All right, so let's pour that in. And we're just going to eyeball this. So we're going to do the baby oil and then we're going to do, we're just going to add a few drops of our essential oil in. And then if you do find that your carrier, carrier oil has a strong smell, you can actually add a little dash of really cheap vodka, which helps to neutralize it. That alcohol really helps it, but uh, we didn't bring any alcohol to the set today, but you could add that if you wanted to. And then you're going to take your reeds, your sticks, and we're going to slide them in and you're going to let these soak for about an hour and then you can flip them over and they're ready to go. The fragrance lasts for about a week to two weeks and then if you want to refresh it, all you have to do is add a little more essential oil and just flip them over again. So simple. And then the fragrance comes out here. I, I love the way they smell. Again, I wish that you guys could smell this. 
So what's fantastic about these is that you can really customize them, make them completely your own, decorate your container, change your fragrance, change it with the seasons. I love these. I, again, I really wish that you could smell them. You're gonna love it too. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, check out our blog, and we'll see you back here next week for an all new tutorial. Bye-bye.